It's a couple Jordan one retros and they gotta be in your collection. You just collect them, you never go step in. I can respect it, but that ain't for me. I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together. Get on the go L, play some bid, and hopefully I can just hit forever. I'm from the bottom of the one to rival. This part of our culture, you gotta be fly. Round flowing with the air forces. Put that shit on to the day that I die. Nikes over out of these eyes. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist, and y'all rocking with your boy in the Sneaker Dungeon, y'all. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Today, y'all, we're going to be taking a look at, you know, y'all see the thumbnail. We got we got a couple unboxings we're going to do, and something a little bit different. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Head over to Instagram, follow your boy, at the Retro Wiz Kid. And y'all already know the vibes, man. Like, comment, subscribe. And I uh, appreciate all the love and support that I continue to get from each and every one of y'all. Now, we got three different pieces of footwear we're about to look at today. Um, all three are different, two from one brand and one from another brand that um, I've never actually featured on the channel. But this is not my first pair of shoes that I've purchased through this brand but it's gonna be the first one that i show you on the site because i still haven't got the first pair that i purchased i know i know y'all you're probably like dang g why did you purchase another shoe from this site and you still didn't get the first pair that you ordered it's a long story man but we still patiently waiting so let's go ahead i actually already unboxed this shoe so let's take a look at this one first so y'all already see the tape man you know when you see this tape where it's coming from man so i know a lot of people you know it's been a lot of up there confusion about whether or not people gonna support and bodies or whatnot but hey it is what it is man at the end of the day i'm all about comfort and i've been rocking with the slides for a minute we have the adidas yeezy slide you know what i'm saying um it is what it is man this is the dark onyx colorway i did get these in a size 12 and one thing that i will point out and i wonder how this joint gonna catch it on camera but i'm highly i'm just slightly disappointed man slightly disappointed in these but i'm gonna tell you guys why i picked these up and when you look at this man it says dark onyx but i'm gonna keep it real with you guys it looks great this shoe looks great or this slide looks great. It does not look black at all. Um, and let's see, production date was 1022 on these right here. As I look at the production date. Now, the reason why I picked these up, one, you know, this is the last run of the Yeezy slides, man. Um, yeah, I know it's a lot of, you know, talk about all oh, Kanye and everything and saying that these are fake. But... You know, now that I'm looking at it now, when I'm looking at the camera, it kind of do look black. But we going to talk about why I picked this pair up real quick. Now, at the end of the day, comfort. At the end of the day, it was made prior to all of this stuff happening. So even though Kanye saying it's not an easy slide, man, I, I ain't going to hold you, man. I don't care about none of that stuff that's going on, to be for real, man. I care about what I'm putting on my feet, and I care about the comfort. And I really mess with the slides, man. And when it came to Yeezy Slides, I've gotten all my pairs for retail. You feel me? So I want to stick to that. If I can try to get them for retail, I'm going to go for them for retail. And that's just the way it is, man. But this one right here, the reason why I picked these up was because last year, when they were doing the last push, I picked these up, which are the Onyx pair. Now, the thing about this Onyx pair is... These are a size 13. Now, when some with some Yeezy slides, man, they just didn't hit with the right size. The sizing was off. But you guys can see right here, we're going to put them side by side, man. So we have the Onyx right here, and we have the Dark Onyx right here. And here's the Onyx. I Actually, gee, I ain't even going to hold you. These joints do look kind of similar, man. Kind of similar, but you guys can see right there. You guys can see the difference. Maybe the dark onyx is a tad bit darker. I don't know, man. They just don't come out all the way black. And I wore a black shirt in this video just to show that it's not all the way black in my eyes. So I picked the I picked the dark onyx up, man, because these were a size 13 and they were just slightly big. And it's crazy because my pure Yeezys, 
were a size 12 and I ended up getting a size 13, trading off with my partner uh, to get the bigger size. And then after that, I bought my uh, Azul joints in a size 13 and I wish I had bought those in a size 12. Uh, that's probably one of my favorite easy slides, the blue ones, but you know what I'm saying? I had to pick these up just cause they black. And with summertime, again, with summertime, with comfort, with all that stuff, man, we got this pair right here that I picked up as well from Adidas. And this one right here, I actually own another pair of these, but again, dang, I'm just, I might as well just tear the whole top off, man. I'm opening this thing up all wrong. But again, retail, Doug, um, it's one of them things where there's been other colorways that I've really wanted. But I did not want to pay resale. I wanted the retail dub with stuff. So right here, as you guys see, we do have this all brown box right here. This is a pair of Yeezy foam runners. And we have the Yeezy foam runners in this black colorway that just came out. So I'm hoping that they're actually black. And again, you know, when you put them up to the, to the doggone uh, camera and you see like, the black on my shirt comparing it it is it's black but it's kind of like a, a a dark black gray but we got right here the easy phone runner joints y'all gonna be like dang bro all your slides that you got all the little joints you got in today's videos are all coming out black but here we go right here easy phone runner joints had to pick those up. now this last pair that we have coming from bravest studio now you guys know they got the brain uh, they got the brain joints that they dropped. They got the bear claws in the brown. They got a white pair that came out. You know, this brand was really, uh, Pop Smoke was messing with this brand as well. RIP Pop Smoke. Uh, they do have clothing. They have all type of stuff on there. But a lot of the stuff are there, uh, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to the footwear, their slides that they have. And this one right here, they dropped these in a brown colorway, a black colorway. They dropped one with skulls. And I ended up picking up the black colorway of these right here. And you guys can see these are black paisley slippers. And, you know, just something simple, man. Some simple, some just to throw on. You know, if you're ready to head to the gym or you're walking around the crib. Uh, inside, nothing crazy, as you guys can see. Just some white tissue paper. Right here, we have the Bravest Studio joints, man. Uh, having the Bravest Studio branding right here on the front. Now, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I've had these for about a week. I've been wearing these crazy. Um, outside, you know, warm to the gym. You know, just been wearing them, man. Like, it's something that's comfortable on the inside. You know, you kind of got like a small little like fur type, type vibe to it. But very comfortable, feels very durable. Uh, I'm really messing with them. I would like to get the brown pair as well. Next time, uh, I might pick up a brown pair. But yeah, man, this is what I've been picking up, man, as far as the slides. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions. Have you guys heard of Bravest Studios? Have you guys heard of the Bear Claws? I know that a lot of people are still waiting on their Bear Claws and you know, it's been a minute, man. I ordered those last year in December, January, February, March. You know, hey man, we almost in April. We halfway through March. I still ain't got them joints, but you know, it's crazy. I seen Ty Dollar Sign. You know, he got his little hookup with a pair. Um, but we'll see, man. Once I get those in, I can't wait to get the bear claws in. I'm gonna share those with y'all because that's something that I think is unique. I love slides and stuff like that. So today's video is basically just dedicated to slides. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys picked up any of the Yeezys that came out. Comment down below if you guys ever heard of Bravest Studios. Let me know y'all's latest pickups, man. As we move into this week, we do have some heat dropping. We got them 14s dropping. We got the 9s dropping. I ain't gonna hold you. The 9s is kind of like way up here on my radar. So that's one of them ones that it is a must have. I have to have that sneaker. Um, but yeah, man, y'all already know the vibes, man. Make sure if you guys are new to the channel, like, comment, and subscribe. Share the videos. I appreciate you guys rocking out with your boy. It is your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid. Until the next video, peace, love, and Laguna Beach. And we out this thing. Get it! It's a couple Jordan 1 retros, and they gotta be in your collection. You just collect them, you never go step in. I can respect it, but that ain't for me. I got a lace up these plastic me threes and throw a little fit together. Get on the go, L, place a bid, and hopefully I can just hit forever. I'm from